Prem Advani, I am from New Delhi, a retired senior citizen, non-Muslim. My question is that Islam with a glorious past should continue to be more glorious with a present time. I wish that the Muslims should give more transparency and access to what activities are being conducted from the grassroots level of madrasas and masjids and so on, so that the people should feel what is going on. The truth should be uh, transparent. My, my main aim is transparency. Thank you. So that's a very good question. Before I answer the question, I would just like to throw some light. The sister had asked earlier question, three questions. And that reminds me that my daughter who had come last, she had said a song. Don't talk to me about Muhammad. You know, peace be upon him. And the coordinator said, please pay attention to the words what she's saying. And if you heard the words carefully, it's the seerat of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that once Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was going, he finds a companion as a stranger, he starts speaking against the Prophet. Oh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is a bad person, don't talk to me. She's telling Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that person doesn't know the person is talking to. She tells to the stranger, that person on the road, that Prophet Muhammad is bad, don't listen to him, he causes disharmony, he teaches only about one God, blah, blah, blah. That's what my daughter was saying in that song. Later on, but she says, oh, you are a very good person. But I'm warning you, don't listen to that man, Muhammad. He's the him. He's a rogue. No, Billah. He's a very bad person. No, Billah. And so on and so forth. But she says, you are a very good person. You are so kind, you are so loving. Please, may I know your name? Then she says, pardon? What did you say? Am I very correct? Your name is Muhammad, Salaam Then she says, Ashhadu Allah, ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. So when the traveler realizes that this person is actually Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, I have heard from other people that he is a wrong person. This person is so good, she immediately accepts Islam. So our dear sister, when she posed so many questions again, I thought it reminds me of my daughter when she was narrating the fear of the Prophet in that song, the person, the traveler attacking Islam, attacking the Prophet Muhammad But when she comes to know the truth, she says the Shada. So inshallah, our dear sister also will share the Shada. And I really ask Allah subhanahu to open a heart. Our dear brother here asked a very good question. He agrees that Islam had a glorious past, but he says that there should be transparency, especially in the Madrasa. Who says no? I am for you, brother. I am fully for you. Who says there should be no transparency? Not transparency. I want the non-Muslims to come and study in this madrasa. I am aware, brother. I am aware. What you are talking about the media. That the media is saying that madrasas are the schools of terrorism. Media says, not you, brother. Media. Madrasa in Arabic means a place of dars. Somewhat like a university. We can call it a school, call it a college, or call it a university. But the media portrays as though, you know, if you go to a madrasa, you'll become a terrorist. Media portrays, not you. I'm asking, number one person who has killed maximum human beings in the world is Hitler. Which madrasa did he go to? Which madrasa? Which madrasa he went to? See, today, you know, mafia, the top people in the world from Italy and all these smugglers, if you take a survey that all the smugglers, all the top people that go to the jail, if you take a survey, how many people go to madrasa? How many? A small, maybe, maybe a couple of percent. Majority go to universities. Which university? Modern university. Schools, colleges. So can I say that you should close the school? Can I say close the college of education? Close BA, close BCom, close BSc? No. Because I know I have studied in the school. That school doesn't say that you should drop or you should smuggle. You should go against the country. It is they study in that school, but they are the black sheep of that school. So Hitler also may have gone to the modern education and showed that the school he went to didn't teach him that he should kill 6 million Jews. So what we realize that these are black sheep. So as a whole, you know, every year in this country, there are thousands of people who are passing from Madrasas from Nadwa, from Deoban, thousands of them. So do you say that they are going and killing people? They are not at all. It is the media which portrays. And now, the government wants to go, and last year or year before last, 
they went to Nadwa, imagine. They went to Nadwa and they wanted a search warrant they took out to check. To check what? And Alimi and Nadvi, Rahimullah, he said, okay, come forward, check. What they found? Nothing. See, once in a blue moon, one in a lakh, one in a hundred thousand, one in a million, maybe a person after he passed the madrasa may have been misled. That doesn't mean madrasa teaches that. But a bigger percentage of the students studying from schools, modern education, from colleges, from university, which we get degrees of BA, BCom, engineering, doctor, more of the people doing wrong activities and evil activities. So as far as transparency, brother, I'm for it. No madrasa will ever say that you do not come and check. Our syllabus is open. In our school, in our school, we are teaching, mashallah, we are teaching comparative studies. My student from my school knows more about Hinduism than average Hindu. He knows more about Christianity than average Christian. He knows more about Islam than an average Muslim. Because we pay attention to both of them. So as far as transparency, brother, is concerned, I'm for you, I'm with you, and no one will ever say that you don't come and analyze. Come, but don't blame. Don't come with a negative mind. Come with open mind. You may never know, you may get a You may come to the truth. Yes, brother. Create an atmosphere of encouragement for non-Muslims to come and learn something and see for themselves. That is what I mean by transparency. So that people should not have suspicion that something wrong is going on, something good is going on. But you should make it transparent. Brother asked a very good question. We should make it transparent for non-Muslim come and study. Brother, first invitation I give to you and your children, come to IRF. I give invitation to you. See, Islamic Research Foundation has a library. It is one of the most well-equipped libraries, at least in India, of scriptures of different religions. You know, we have more than 200 different types of Bible, more than 50 versions of the Bible. We have more than 50 translations only of Bhagavad Gita. We have several translations of Vedas, of Rig Ved, Yajur Ved, Ved. You may not find in the library of your government. You may not find in the library of maybe your school of thought. We encourage, study and come to the truth. And leave aside others, I give the first invitation to you and to your children. I will even bear the air ticket. Free. Come to IRF and we welcome you. Study and we will learn the truth together, inshallah. Can you